Hello everybody, this is Herocore, the administrator of Graphics World and a magician in YouTube. Today I'm going to teach you your second tutorial. Now, this tutorial is going to be about clipping mask. So, first of all, what we're going to do is open our Photoshop, pick any canvas size you want, it's up to you guys. And once we get that, what we're going to do, please ignore all this. All we're going to do is create a new layer, take your paint bucket tool, and fill it with Y. I already did this, so I don't have to do it again. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to take our text tool and just type something on it. Now, I type this. Now, let me, let me, let me retype all this. Okay, so you can type whatever you want. In this case, graphics world. It's way too big so I'm just gonna resize it or it fix. If it's really good in 24. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. There you go. Now I did this just to show you how clipping mask work. So what we're gonna do now is that we can take any image you want, in this case I picked this one, and put it on top of your phone, your text, whatever you want to call that. So what you're going to do, once it's top of your text, on top of your text layer, you're just going to right click it, and click where it says create clipping mask. What it's going to do is that the picture above which is this picture is going to put it onto the below I mean this layer is going to combine is going to be combined with the layer that is below the layer you know what I'm talking about? so this image is going to be combined onto the text so if you click it now the image is onto the text as you can see here maybe uh, move a little bit you know, so you can see the image. Can you guys see this? I'm gonna make this one uh, bigger, just so you guys can see it. There you go. And click on the image layer and move it around, so you guys can see now the face of this girl here, and the other face of this girl. So this is what it do. It do. It's really cool. And uh, that's how a clipping mask works. Now I'm going to teach you guys how a clipping mask works on a signature. Now let me tell you that I'm not going to be doing a signature, so don't think it's going to look good. You know, this is just to show you how a clipping mask I'm not even doing design or anything right now. I'm just teaching you guys some basics. So what we're going to do is that we can create a background, either a motion or render, or just taking another image. So I took this image to do real fast, because I don't have enough time. So to this image is going to be our background, I pick a render, you know, my bad, I pick a render, which the render doesn't blend actually with the uh, background, but I don't care right now because I'm not doing a design as I said before, just showing you, I don't want hey, to say hey, the signature looks bad and stuff like that, you know, this is just a tutorial really fast on how to use clipping mask. So I moved these, uh, I did my thing here, you know, I did a couple effects here, doesn't matter for you. If you're begging it, don't worry about it right now, because you won't be able to do it. No, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. So what we're going to do is, we create our background, we choose our render, you know, and all that. And what we're going to do is that we're going to create a new layer, and brush a little bit as you can see here are some white dots that's our uh, uh, watercolor brush that I use you know you can use some smaller brushes some whatever brush that looks good you know to make a really good effect on a gradient map I mean clipping mask and you just brush a little bit do not brush over the focal you know it will look bad and messy 
So now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take another image, the same render that you're gonna use, and you're gonna do the same thing what you did with the phone. You're gonna click create copy mask. So you can see here is a copy mask that is on your brush thingy. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick another one here, another side, and create clipping mask. So there's two clipping masks now. You see? Here. It looks good. And that's a simple tutorial. Well, it, it doesn't look good actually. My signature looks bad, but this is just kind of like to show you guys how it works. Now, in my sh I have a showcase in Graphics World that I'm gonna put the link to this forum side, which is my side, my graphics side. And I have a showcase where you can see some uh, signature with clipping mask. Now you can use clipping mask on uh, text, or you can use clipping mask on effects as in signatures. You know, actually, uh, we could uh, change this clipping mask over here. You know, these ones, and try some other stuff. You know, so we got a brush here. We create a new layer. We have, we place any other image we want, whatever you know. Something colorful, I don't know, just something that blends good. Let's say this. Oops. Damn, I didn't know I had this. Anyways, we got this Asian girl, really hot though, and we're just gonna put her there as a clipping mask. Create clipping mask. And that's how it blends. You guys may not realize that really good right now. You know, we got this. We can duplicate it. And then we can move it here. You know, so it blends. You, know, you guys get the idea, you know. You can even take other brushes. Make sure you click on the layer where the brushes are. And make your own stuff, you know. This is you, dude. This is your creativity. Okay. This is, this is your thing, this is what you do. You can go by, uh, I don't know, just do your thing. There. Just do your thing. What do you want to do? I don't know, I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyways, that's kind of like a clipping man works, you know, have fun, see you next time man, peace out, graphics firm, if you want to come in or you just want to, uh, or you just want to know, or you just want me to do a new tutorial about anything you want, you like, you know, if I can do it, I can help you and explain it to you, I'll just do the tutorial, give me some feedback, some comments, whatever you want, see you next time with some new good tutorials.